We often talk about Yellowstone and the effects that it could have on the world if there was an eruption. But there is another supervolcano, one that sits in California, that could cause the same amount of devastation because it holds a massive semi-molten magma chamber that they're saying has a staggering 240 cubic miles worth of magma within it. Now, to put things into perspective here, for those that remember the 1980 Mount St. Helens eruption, or if you just go back and look into the information, it was classified as being a decent eruption that caused some issues. That was only 0.29 cubic miles worth of a release. 0.29 compared to 240 cubic miles worth of ash and material that the Long Valley Caldera could release. And this Long Valley Caldera itself is one of the Earth's largest calderas, measuring about 20 miles long, 11 miles wide, and up to 3,000 feet deep. They're saying that after four strong earthquakes shook this region in 1980, they detected evidence of renewed volcanic unrest in this area. Now, there is a chain that goes up through here, and of course this is a part of the Ring of Fire, but this chain that runs up through here ends around Mono Lake where the last major eruption took place. Now they say they expect that it should be around 100,000 years, 50,000 to 100,000 years before they see another big eruption coming from this area. The issue here is this, is that all of these seem to be connected in some form or fashion underground, especially in terms of all the plates and the seismic activity. As we've seen in the past, one big earthquake can change things, collapse the inside of a, a pocket of magma inside of the earth or around the dome of the caldera. We've seen a lot of that here recently in Hawaii. And you usually see those collapses take place after some sort of an eruption, after that area that was full of magma is then hollowed out and then it doesn't have anything to support the weight of the earth above it, so it collapses and causes more seismic activity. Sometimes that can block off certain passageways, uh, certain magma tubes, lava tubes, so to speak, underground, and it could force other things to happen. But this is a massive caldera that I think is overlooked. There is a look at the inside of it, and as for the longest time now, they say this region has been rising. And if you really want to look at the base of where all the magma sits, and you can see Lava Creek, the tuff, sits here in terms of Yellowstone. And then we have the Huckleberry Ridge that comes out here and Long Valley that extends out into the Pacific as well. So you can see these are very massive underground. And I wanted to run the update and drop this information so people are aware of what we have here in the United States and the potential for any eruptions in the future. I think we're more likely to see an eruption out of Yellowstone before the Long Valley Caldera just by the numbers and the history. But this is some updates. I'm going to leave a link below. I'll continue to update as I come across more. This has been Dabu7. Much love, y'all.